Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Be sure to check out Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks. TCG Player for cards at great prices while supporting local game stores. And Patreon where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. Our patron Charles is back for another game. He brought back his big mean Praetor Machine, Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite. However, the team is ready with some control decks of their own, so Charles needs to be ready to fight. Tier 1 Con in Copenhagen, Denmark is coming August 13th through the 15th. It aims to be the largest CEDH tournament to date with over $5,000 in prizes. Playing with Power will be there to meet our fellow CEDH players and participate in the tournament. Be sure to come out and play for amazing prizes. Links are in the description. Right after Tier 1 Con, we will be having another CEDH tournament on our Discord on August 21st. It is played over webcam and is 100% proxy friendly. All patrons in our Discord are eligible to participate in the tournament. We have set up a great prize structure, including Dragon Shield product for the top 16, a copy of Dockside Extortionist for the top 4, and the grand prize for this tournament is a Force of Will. Sign up to our Patreon today and get in on the webcam tournament. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Charles piloting Elish Norn Grand Cinemite. This is a stacks deck that does not employ a specific win con. It instead slowly locks down the board and uses its commander to pump its creatures and swing for the win. Charles opening hand contains Grasp of Fate, Draneth Magistrate, Grim Monolith, Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, Deserted Temple, and two Snow-Covered Plains. Next, we have Mike piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Bruise Tarl Boris Herder. This is a tempo deck called Blue Pod. It seeks to hold up interaction, soft lock the board, and win through a number of birthing pod lines. His opening hand contains a Mystical Tutor, Eladomri's Call, Gilded Drake, Worldly Tutor, Rejuvenating Springs, Gemstone Caverns, and an Island. After that, we have Ryan piloting Urza, Lord High Artificer. This is a deck called Poly Tyrant. It seeks to slow down the board with stacks pieces while breaking parity with Urza's ability. It then seeks to resolve a Polymorph into Tidespout Tyrant to go for the win. His opening hand contains a Merchant Scroll, Mystical Tutor, Chain of Vapor, Sensei's Divining Top, Polluted Delta, Ancient Tomb, and his London Mulligan is a Gemstone Caverns. Finally, we have Folger piloting Niv Mizzet Perun. This is a control deck seeking to use counter magic and permission based play to keep the board in check. It then synergizes with its commander and eventually finds a curiosity combo to close out the game. His opening hand contains a Felwar Stone, Soul Ring, Graft Digger's Cage, Flusterstorm, Gush, Command Tower, and a Scalding Tarn. Without further ado, let's begin this captivating crushing carnival of carnage. Charles rolls a nat 20 and gets to start us off. But Mike has a pregame action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Mystical Tutor. Charles draws a card for turn and plays a Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. He passes. At the end of Charles' turn, Mike casts Worldly Tutor. He fetches up a Bloom Tender onto the top of his library. Mike draws a card for turn and plays a Rejuvenating Springs. He casts a Bloom Tender. Mike passes. Ryan draws a card for turn and plays an Ancient Tomb. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Sensei's Divining Top. He uses his remaining floating to activate the top. He looks at the top three of his library and rearranges. Ryan ends his turn. Folger draws a card for turn and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Felwar Stone. He casts a Graft Digger's Cage. Folger apologizes to Ryan, Ryan sighs, and the turn passes to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts Draneth Magistrate. Folger is the one who sighs this time, and Charles ends his turn. Mike draws and plays an Island. He casts a Training Grounds. He passes. Ryan draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Snow-Covered Island onto the battlefield. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Copy Artifact. It resolves and enters as a copy of Soul Ring. Ryan then activates the top, looking at and rearranging the top three. Ryan passes. Folger draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Steam Vents onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. Folger passes. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts a Grasp of Fate. It resolves and targets Mike's Bloom Tender, Ryan's Soul Ring, and Folger's Soul Ring. In response, Folger casts Gush. He draws two cards. Grasp of Fate then exiles the cards. Charles attacks Folger with Draneth Magistrate. Folger takes it, and Charles ends his turn. At the end of Charles' turn, Mike casts an Eladomri's Call. He fetches up a Dockside Extortionist into his hand. Mike draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and with the ETB on the stack, Ryan activates his Sensei's Divining Top, drawing a card and putting it on top of his library. Dockside's ability then resolves, and Mike creates three treasures. Mike cracks his Flooded Strand, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. 
he casts a gilded drake. It resolves, and Mike exchanges control of Charles's Draneth Magistrate. Mike then casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. With nothing else, Mike passes. Ryan draws and casts a Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two back on top. He plays a Snow-Covered Island and passes the turn. Folger draws and plays a Sulphur Falls for turn. He transmutes Muddle the Mixture. He fetches up a Shatter Skull Smashing into his hand. Folger ends his turn. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains for turn. He attacks Mike with Gilded Drake. Mike takes it, and in his second main phase, Charles casts a Sanctum Prelate. It resolves, and Charles names two as it enters. Charles ships the turn to Mike. Mike draws and moves to combat. He attacks Folger with Thrasios, Dockside, and Draneth. Folger takes it, and in his second main phase, Mike casts a Birds of Paradise. Mike passes. At the end of Mike's turn, Ryan casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Draneth Magistrate. In response, Mike activates Thrasios. He scries one and reveals a Savannah, putting it onto the battlefield tapped. Chain of Vapor resolves, Draneth bounces to Charles's hand, and then Mike decides not to continue the chain. The turn then moves to Ryan. Ryan draws and then taps his Ancient Tomb to cast his commander, Urza, Lord High Artificer. It resolves, and Ryan creates a construct. Ryan passes. Folger draws and plays a Prismatic Vista for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a snow-covered island onto the battlefield. He casts a Dockside Extortionist. It resolves, and with the ETB on the stack, Mike sacks a treasure for mana. Then Folger creates three treasures. He cracks his treasures to cast his commander, niv mizzet Perun. In response, Mike uses his floating mana to activate Thrasios. He scries one and reveals a stomping ground onto the battlefield tapped. niv mizzet resolves, and Folger passes the turn. Charles draws and plays a Deserted Temple, which is very scary with Nykthos on the battlefield. He casts Grand Abolisher. Now everyone gets extra worried about what he's about to do. He activates Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx for 6 white mana. He recasts Draneth Magistrate. He casts Sarah Ascendant. He casts Archon of Ameria. He attacks Mike with Gilded Drake. Mike takes it, and sitting in a pretty good spot, Charles passes the turn. Mike draws and plays a Gaia's Cradle. He activates Thrasios. He scries one and reveals a Deflecting Swat. He activates Thrasios, scries one, and reveals an Allosaurus Shepherd. Mike passes. Ryan draws and starts off by tapping his Ancient Tomb to transmute Teleria West. He fetches up a Mana Crypt into his hand. He casts Mana Crypt. Ryan passes. During his draw step, Folger's niv mizzet triggers. Folger has a deal 1 damage to Archon of Ameria. Folger casts Shatter Skull Smashing, where X equals 1, targeting Archon of Ameria and Birds of Paradise. niv mizzet triggers, and Folger draws a card. Niv triggers again and deals 1 damage to Archon. In response, Mike floats mana from his bird. Then Shatter Skull resolves and kills both Archon and birds. Folger attempts to move phases, and Mike responds by using his floating mana to activate Thrasios. He scries and reveals a City of Brass onto the battlefield tapped. Folger then moves to a second main phase and plays a City of Brass of his own. Folger ends his turn. Charles draws and starts off by activating Nykthos for 8 white. He then activates Deserted Temple, untapping Nykthos. He then activates Nykthos again for additional 8. He casts Path to Exile, targeting niv mizzet Niv triggers and Folger draws a card. Niv triggers again and deals 1 damage to Draneth Magistrate. Then Path resolves, Niv is exiled, and Folger fetches up an island onto the battlefield tapped. Charles falls up by casting his commander, Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite. It resolves, Charles's creatures get buffed, and his opponent's creatures get nerfed, and then most of them die. Charles attacks Folger with everything. Folger takes it, and Charles gains 8 life through Sarah Ascendant. Sitting in a really good spot, Charles passes the turn. Mike draws and plays a Tropical Island for turn. He activates Thrasios. He scries one and reveals a Derevi, Imperial Tactician, into his hand. He casts Derevi. It enters and Mike untaps his Gaia's Cradle. He activates Thrasios again, scrying and revealing a Finale of Devastation into his hand. Mike ends his turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts a Tormod's Crypt. He recasts Sensei's Divining Top. He spins the top, rearranging the top three. He then taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Back to Basics. The table groans and Ryan passes the turn. Folger draws and casts a Mox Opal. He casts an Imperial Recruiter. It resolves and immediately dies to Elish Norn. Its ability resolves, and Folger fetches up a Phantasmal Image into his hand. Folger makes a deal with Charles. Normally, he would make his Femage into a copy of Gilded Drake and steal Charles's commander. However, if he makes it instead into a copy of his commander, Mike and Ryan's commanders would die and slow down their inevitable win attempts. In exchange, Charles must agree not to kill him next turn. Charles agrees, and Folger plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a mountain onto the battlefield. He then casts a Phantasmal Image. In response, Ryan spins the top looking for an answer. 
He does not find anything, and Fimage resolves. It enters as a copy of Elish Norn. Mike and Ryan's creatures die, and Folger passes to Charles. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Folger with Sarah Ascendant and Ryan with everything else. Folger, in disbelief, wonders what happened to their arrangement. Charles stated that he wouldn't kill Folger, as this attack would only put him at one life, but he didn't say anything about not attacking him. They both take it, Charles gains six, Folger goes to curse Charles's name, and then Charles passes to Mike. Mike draws and plays a forest. He passes. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his mana crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws and plays a war room. He passes. Folger draws and starts off his turn by casting Fabricate. He fetches up a Spellskite into his hand. He casts Spellskite. He then casts Submerge for its alternate cost, targeting Elish Norn. Charles responds by casting Enlightened Tutor. He fetches up a Chalice of the Void onto the top of his library. Then Submerge resolves, and Charles puts Elish Norn onto the top of his library. Sanctum Prelate and Grand Abolisher then die to Folger's Elish Norn. He attacks Charles with Elish Norn. Charles takes it, and Folger passes the turn. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Folger with Gilded Drake and Ryan with Sarah Ascendant. Ryan takes it, Charles gains four, and Folger dies. In his second main phase, Charles casts Grim Monolith. Charles ends his turn. Mike draws and starts off by casting Finale of Devastation, where X equals three. He fetches up a Yison, the Wanderer Bard, onto the battlefield. He passes to Ryan. At the end of Mike's turn, Ryan casts Mystical Tutor. He fetches up a Polymorph onto the top of his library. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws and then spins a top, rearranging the top three. Ryan passes. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Gilded Drake, Sarah Ascendant, and Dreneth Magistrate. In response, Ryan casts Cyclonic Rift, bouncing Sarah Ascendant to Charles' hand. Ryan then takes the rest, and in his second main phase, Charles recasts Sarah Ascendant. He casts a Chalice of the Void, where X equals two. It resolves, and Charles passes the turn. Mike draws, looks at the board, and passes. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a snow-covered island. Ryan passes. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Dranith and Mike with Sarah Ascendant and Gilded Drake. They both take it and Charles gains six life. In his second main phase, Charles casts a Trinosphere. In response, Ryan spins the top looking for an answer. He does nothing else and then Trinosphere resolves. Charles passes. At the end of Charles' turn, Mike activates Yison for one. He fetches up a Quirion Ranger onto the battlefield. He activates Quirion Ranger, returning Tropical Island to his hand and untapping Yison. He taps a City of Brass to activate Yison for two. He fetches up a Grand Abolisher onto the battlefield. The turn then moves to Mike. Mike draws for turn and observes the board state. He knows that he must win right now or lose to Charles on his turn. So he goes into the tank for a long time, thinking about his path. He thinks he finally has it and then activates Yison for three. He fetches up a Deceiver Exarch onto the battlefield. It enters and Mike untaps Gaia's Cradle. He activates Quarian Ranger, returning Stomping Grounds to his hand and untaps Yison. He activates Yison for four. He fetches up an Emil the Blessed onto the battlefield. He activates Emil's ability, flickering Deceiver Exarch. Deceiver enters and untaps Guy's Cradle. Using this loop, Mike generates infinite green mana. On the last entry of Exarch, Mike untaps Yison. He activates Yison for five. He fetches up a Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker onto the battlefield. He activates Kiki, making a copy of Deceiver Exarch. Exarch enters and untaps Kiki. He then presents a loop of creating infinite hasty Deceiver Exarchs and attacks each opponent for the win. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congrats to Mike on his win. He kept his head low and looked for the right time to execute his combo and win. Blue Pod already plays stacks, so navigating the waters of the stacks out board was not too difficult for this deck. The rest of the table was so focused on each other that they didn't pay much attention to Mike accruing value turn over turn. The most valuable card goes to Yison, the Wanderer Bard. This card is a one card combo in this deck. Being able to verse up the chain to your combo is an amazing way to win through stacks pieces on the board. The way the deck is built allows you to use either Yison or Birthing Pod in order to assemble your win. And Mike did a great job of showing that off tonight. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.
it is Patreon shoutout time. I'd like to give a shout out to Nitai Rubinovix. Ooh, that's a, that's a tough one. Ivan Thumitarian Descendant, Frapral, Nathan Smith, Elijah Miller, J Rock, Pyro, Dark, Philip Hickey, Brad Tobin, Sanguino Lindsay, Snarps the Clept, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Dante, Jared Smith, Baby Jeebus, Trey Payne, Rakeko, Greg Babe, Zods, Spielrahu, CZ, Nick, and Liam. Thank you all very much for your support.